Guys, big announcement. If you haven't heard already, I'm going back out on tour. The P. Corielli Authentic Tour is what I'm calling it is kicking off in mid-October, and I, I'm like, this thing's going everywhere, man. Everywhere from Portland, Washington, D.C., Boston, Chicago, Philly. I'm really getting out there. Long Island, more dates to be announced. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys can make it. Always appreciate the support. But go to pcorielli.com, and all the dates are listed and how to get tickets. P. Corielli, Authentic Tour. Hope to see you out there. This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. All right, Pete and Sebastian Show. I feel like this is almost a, a throwback. This is the first time we've done this since the uh, the summer hang. This has got to be, what, two months? Two months since we did this shit, right? So we're we're back. Uh, Steve, uh, Steve, <laughs> Pete, Pete, Steve. Jesus Christ! Oh, you, you were called your name, me bro. Steve. I thought you were called Patrick Steve. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? Well, that's Pete's, good. Pete's, that's good. Then this should be uh, fun and new. <laughs> he is back <laughs> in Fredonia. <laughs> I'm in LA. I got your name. Uh Listen, bro, there's so much that's happened since we've done this, and... Right, yeah. Yeah, did you throw out the first pitch later today? Well, if you want to get into my my attire right off the bat... Well, you never wear, you never dress like that, you know? You never dress like that, You know, it was one of those... I don't know if you've had any of these moments where you're looking at what to wear, right? You go to your closet, and you got your... You got your shirts that are always on rotation, right? Right. Uh huh. And you got shirts in the back that you go, you know, you never really back there. They probably could be donated. Right? <laughs> yeah. And I got some yeah. drawers with some t shirts in it. And it's the first two drawers. I decided today, let's go see what's in the third and fourth drawer. I never go in there. Right. I pulled right. it open. And there were yeah. some Bulls jerseys, but they were sleeveless. And I'm not going to show my fucking detached biceps here on the show. Right? Right, right. And then yeah. I came across this. Okay? Now, yeah, right. I never wear a jersey. Right. So I said, you know what? Let me switch it up a little bit. And if someone is passing by the Instagram feed and sees right. a Cubs jersey... Maybe that will give us some viewers. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, bro! I hear you. I don't even. I don't know what else to do. Our clips are hilarious. The shows have been incredible. I just, you know, yeah. I just don't, I don't know. know. Maybe I, a I'm fucking right jersey you, will do it. So man. I don't know. All man. right. Well, it, it's man, gonna. Man, it, it, man. You know, next week it could be a, a winter jacket. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know what's going to do it, but right now we're going with the Cubs. <clears throat> so go ahead. I'm sweating already. Are you well, sweating? Now, 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 you know, I, I, I had a whole <laughs> bit I was going to do about the Cub thing with you. Now I can't because now oh, you're no, saying no, you're no, doing no. it to get well, views. Go, go with the Cubs. Hey, listen, the last time You got to think. This. You're at an age now. You got to start thinking about passing away and what you're wearing. You know what I'm saying? You're not 30 anymore. <laughs> and I'm just saying. I, I I try to be, and I've learned that from you actually, because I started when I started hitting the road with you a little bit. I noticed that <clears throat> you never take a day off with your outfit. I mean, at least as far as in your opinion, how how you want to look. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, and we were talking about going out and making videos. And I said, sometimes I wanted to make videos, but I look terrible, you know? And you go, that's why I try to look relatively okay whenever I leave the house, because if I have to make a video in an impromptu moment, right? So I'm like, I should be doing that. I should be, you know, and Jackie's always on me. She's like, you walk the dog, you look like you're homeless, man. You really, the dog looks better than you. So I'm like, I got to look nicer, you know, like this, just a little more. Pres and then, yeah, you got to start thinking about if you go down, what are you wearing when you go down? And like, that's not you, bro. That that's just not. That's like boyish. There's nothing boyish about you. It's throwing me off. It's throwing me off too. 
And the reason I'm doing it, I said, is I needed a change from the same forget old the, shit. Forget the, the viewers. They, they don't know it. They're going to someday forget them all, bro. They're missing out on a goddamn masterpiece of a show slash cast here. It's like, that's that's what I've come to even with stand-up. I saw it the other day. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting you. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I just got my what? hand up because I'm, I'm cocked saw, and okay, ready. Go I'm ahead. Right. I saw it. I saw the other day uh, a clip where Sam Morell, uh, this younger comedian who I <clears throat> really liked, this guy's fucking funny, man, uh, and he's telling Bill Burr, who, you know, we love Billy, uh, how I met you years ago when they got a photo together, and he's like, I got you to play my college. Then, 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 then no comic ever fucking is coming up to me with that story, you know? Oh, I saw you here, and, you know? I mean... Uh, Joe List said once in the green room at the Buffalo Hill, yeah, I used to see it, uh, the cellar when I'd go there. That's it. Not like I was blown away. I was motivated. Nothing, right? And then I just come to the, this is how I calm down. I come to the realization that they all missed out. Anyone who didn't see me or didn't see how great I was, they missed out. That's, that's, that's their loss, not mine. And that's how I feel even more so about this cast. Anyone who's not latching on to it, who doesn't see it, it's it's their loss man you know that's 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 how i sleep at night so anyway <laughs> this will be our last year of doing the cast folks if the numbers don't go up just figured i'd share that with you and uh but for what it's worth i'll wear a fucking pink bra next week all right <laughs> why Actually, not I'll just brought it i brought this shit up right now and do a little hey girlfriend want to do the show like i'm a southern woman but holy shit bro whatever the fuck it takes do we have to get naked? Is that what it takes to get fucking <laughs> views? I got to show my ass or belly and fucking something? I don't know, man. I don't know what we got to do. I, I, and, I, and I understand if I passed away today, God forbid. Yeah. If I went, if I went down to the kitchen. No, no. Yeah. Oh, my God. And for whatever reason, ambulance comes, right? And they take me uh, to the hospital. Yeah. But and, and even worse, bro. Even worse. I didn't even show you this. Yeah. Because this is so out of my character, wearing a jersey. It's out of my character. Right. Totally. I mean, even if you had thrown out the first pitch, I feel like you'd take that off before you got back to your booth. <laughs> <laughs> if I went to the hospital and I was in the emergency room, and let's say one of the emergency room nurses noticed me and recognized me, and was confused, and and, and they, they 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 couldn't like put it together. Like, Wait, is this is this Sebastian? Because this is so they wouldn't even think I would have this on. In order for them to identify me as who I am, they would have to turn me over. Oh God! Oh, oh. bro! <laughs> <laughs> I got the name on the back. Oh, oh my This God. is Little League. It's Little that's League. Just, that's one in three people on every block in Chicago. Every man got that for Christmas with their name on the back. You realize that? <laughs> Jeez. Now, oh. this brings up a good question. They're throwing you in the ambulance, right? And now Lana's right there by the curb. Maybe family can't come in the ambulance, but they know they're going to have to take your shirt off to hit you with the defib while you're in the ambulance. Can Lana throw them like a Versace t-shirt or something and say, can you put him in this before he sl before you roll him into the hospital? <laughs> That's, you know, you're right, bro. So, you're right. Anyway, I, I, right. I should have thought this out. And, you, I, and I you're right, bro. And you're right. Well, I'm trying listen, to give you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we we change it up a little bit with the wardrobe. You know, always, uh, my my shirts always get a lot of comments on on the cast. Uh, particularly the last <clears> cast <throat> that we did at Dom's, I had this uh, you know this Cuban uh, button up that I got fucking railed for. But uh, hey, you know what? They're talking about something. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Maid's bed sheets. I use them myself. They're so soft, they're phenomenal. I, I can't say enough about them. They're inspired by NASA. Miracle Maid uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. 
using silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA Miracle Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long so you get a better night's sleep every night. It's true. You do. I can vouch. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7% of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresher three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than bed sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to trymiracle.com slash thecast to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo, the cast at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Wow. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash the cast and use the code the cast to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash the cast to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> Those shows were so fun. I gotta <laughs> say, some of these some of these ones we I was looking at you and I, and maybe we should relax on the wine next time we do the cast. I mean, there's there's times I, I looked at myself and hey, oh by the way, can we applaud and I think this has to be a t shirt. Let the stroke pass has to be one of the best lines ever uttered on the cast. <laughs> but there was moments in that yeah, cast that, where I was yeah. looking looking at myself and going, wow, you know, the, the wine's really taking effect. There was one point I looked at you and I don't even think you know you were part of a podcast at that moment. No, <laughs> no, I, I swear to God, I was just having a good time in some guy's basement of his cheese shop. That's all I was doing. <laughs> it was unbelievable. I mean, when you were telling me that story about the guy, the parking attendant going, you know, you got, are you on the list? Uh, I couldn't breathe. And then when you were like sweating. God damn, that was oh, funny. Shit. Yeah, no, it so, was fun. We had, we had a good time. I no, think the yeah, listeners of course liked not the, with the wine. Yeah, yeah, no. But listen, it was a good time, though. I, I had a good time with the wine. It was just, I can't believe how much we drank. Yeah. Just the level of aggravation I have right now in my life, I don't know. I, I, I've been pretty, pretty tepid, but today, the amount of shit that hit me starting with a raccoon that I got in the yard, bro, I Listen, I uh, I got the furniture outside uh, in in the I got covers on the furniture, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I noticed I went outside. I noticed at the bottom of the of the cover, it's it's chewed and frayed, and and also oh, the go. the the fabric, the furniture fabric is chewed and frayed. I'm like, what? The f so <laughs> I had a I had a rodent guy come out. He goes, you got rats. And I go, what's, he goes, well, you put a garden in. It's like a buffet for rodents. Oh. Huh? Right. I go, why are they eating my, why are they eating my furniture covers? I got beautiful tomatoes over there. They're not even touched. <laughs> and they're eating. Right. He goes, what they do is they take the material and they build a nest. Bro, did you did you know there's rats have nests? I thought they like, lived in like burrows in holes. I know that I didn't think too, they, but bro, I didn't even think they had a home. I thought a rat just moved around right. the city, you know, like I don't know that they, they went back just, to somewhere to sleep. You just, just kind of just napped wherever, like a homeless person. <laughs> just kind of keep very tra very transient the rats are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought the rat. Right. I didn't yeah. Think the well, rat normally, really... they, they, then then they come across a fucking guy growing, you know, like a goddamn uh, what do you call Whole Foods in his backyard. So they're like, let's just nest here. Forget the traveling anymore. I mean, right? Don't you have? Well, you got some some nice special things going back there. Yeah, I got I got a lot of vegetables, but what I'm saying is we're not getting nibbles on the vegetables. What we're seeing is they're ripping the shit out of my furniture. 
<clears throat> right. So the rodent guy comes yeah, over right. and he goes, "Yeah, you got red." He goes, "What you need to do is p- build a fence around the garden," which I really don't want to yeah. do because it ruins the aesthetic of the garden and the whole thing. And he goes, um, "Have you ever heard of a twenty four?" I said, "No, what's an a twenty four? A twenty four is a rat trap, right?" Mm-hmm. And it has a CO2 cartridge attached to the trap. Okay? So what happens is you put the bait and it's in like a cone and the rat goes up the cone to get the bait. CO2 a cartridge. The, the, the rat goes up. There's a trip wire before the rat gets to the food. He crosses the trip wire, the CO2 cartridge goes off and puts a piston in his skull. Basically, it assassinates the rat, right? That's like uh, No Country for Old Men, that movie <laughs> that would that would have you all bought Diem, whatever his name is, would walk around with that thing they used to, to kill cows and shit. Dies instantly. He goes, it dies instantly. I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, you know, you don't want him to suffer. I go, bro, this is, I, I've never even heard of, you know, die instantly, die in a few minutes, whatever the hell it is. He goes, no, it, you know, puts it, it just puts it down right away. And he goes, and the beauty of this thing, it's attached yeah. to a Bluetooth and you download an app and you'll get notified per kill. So, <laughs> oh my god that's like you so can get an app like that when you sell t- t-shirts you go oh another one oh another one. <laughs> yeah you could be at dinner with your wife and they get the thing and oh i got one you know so and it's got 24 bullets per co2 cartridge i don't know it's got 24 pistons in there so you could kill 24 Right, rats or mice in one CO two, but in this All video, right. the video that I saw, it's killing, it's killing them, and then the, and they're just dying, right? So it's hard for other rats to get up into the because there's like a there's like a cemetery of rats outside this this machine, right? Yeah, yeah. There's got to be like a drop pit where they. It's like I've seen this in Walking Dead. You can kill so many zombies, but then the new ones come and just start climbing up the dead ones, and before you know it, you know you got a bigger problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> same same concept. I got before we go any further though. Can you change the CO2, or do you got to call the guy to come change that? Well, here's the thing. Of course, you know, living in Los Angeles, they're gonna soak you. They're gonna soak you. Yeah. But guess how yeah. much the damn thing yeah. costs? To, to, like to set it up? What do you mean? What What's the service? Well, the, no, there's a set up. There's this? a setup fee. Of uh-huh. course, there's a setup fee, right? But the actual. Oh, but you, if you, you bu- buy it, so it's like a permanent. It's a permanent thing you buy. Yeah, yeah, you buy it. You buy it. How much is it well, on I'm, Amazon? I'm, what, what would you say? Uh twelve hundred. Wow, twelve hundred. Oh God! You got a laser you know, that's uh, execute executing rats. <laughs> like while I'm on vacation sipping my ties, I'm going. Oh, we just got 22 today, Lana. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck is that worth, bro? <laughs> you think everything's pricey? They're like, guy, we're assassinating every rat in L.A. while you're on vacation, <laughs> and you're still not happy. <laughs> so what were you looking 200. for? Ninety nine, ninety nine. Two hundred. That's bucks, how much it costs. But- you should be setting up nine of these fucking things around the whole perimeter. That's, uh, <laughs> my question to you is, he said this is kids friendly. I don't know how the hell it's kid friendly if, you know, the kid could stick their hand up there and get and get shot. Right. But you don't put it where kids are. You put it on the fringe. My question to you, and I would never spend $200. Bro, what happened to the snap traps? Remember when, you you know, the the cheese on the thing and it snapped the head off or whatever? Remember those? Right. That's like five yeah, bucks. Yeah, but once you snap, yeah, but you snap that, you got to reset that, put more cheese. This thing, you're getting a whole family. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you know? <laughs> 
My question so, is if, if if it's like the middle of the night and your thing's going off and you're looking at Lana going, uh, man, I'm up to 22 kills. I got to go change that thing. Otherwise, the next two are going to die and then it's just going to be a free for all. They're going to fucking steamroll us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, can you change the CO2? I got to find well, out. I mean, it's it's not that hard to change it. You just unscrew it, put another one uh, in. So it shouldn't be that hard. But and, yeah, should I get one of these? And the only reason I would get one of these is just for the story, for the cast. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it, absolutely. Just, but and, and is how there many a chance so that you can get a rabbit too, or or you know, like how do you know it's, it's only going to be a rat sticking its head up there? It, it's too small for anything like a rabbit. It's just you have to go up into that little canal. Do we have a video? Let's let's uh. What like okay. could it put a it, hole in a raccoon's paw, something like that? Uh, that I, I don't know. I didn't go in depth to see if it, you know, kills raccoons. Let, let's let's yeah. throw let's throw this video up there. I'll show you what this is all about. Could you see this? I do. Yes. All right. I'm looking. Oh. <laughs> wow. Hold on. See, it goes up. Boom and and just just assassinate, Boom. gone. Boom, okay. just just drop. Oh out. wow, bro, that's better than think? a lot I of mean, TV shows. <laughs> what? I said that, that that's more enjoyable than watching a lot of TV shows. <laughs> you know, uh, they said, should have those at every su every subway in Manhattan should have those. Just waiting for the six the, train. The, it, watch seven or eight of those things <laughs> come and go. <laughs> The uh, the the sound though that this thing it it's literally oh, oh here we wow. go raccoon what does it do to the coon the guy told me raccoons then come and take the rodents away but now I got a raccoon problem right like right I don't want raccoons coming to the yard now looking for food so. My two things: should I get the should I get this thing? It's it, it's it's a little. I mean, it's a little devastating. I mean, I'm sure people are going to see that and go, "Wow, that's that's cruel that you're putting pistons in the yeah. rats' skulls." All right, but All right. it's yeah. I got a rot. I got a problem back there. And number two, I'm on my lawn with, with Caruso playing soccer, and there's a pile of shit on the lawn. I don't have a dog, bro. I mean, this is like this is like dog shit. So I go, what the hell is this? I, I, I took the, the rodent guy came out and he goes, oh, yeah, you got raccoons. I go, got raccoons. Do you remember like season five of the cast? I said someone's letting their dog shit by my house and I can't figure out who it is. It kept happening. Mm -hmm. It turned out that it was raccoon shit. It looks a lot like dog shit, bro. Yeah. So now. I got three raccoon traps set around the right. house. Now, for the listeners that are concerned about killing raccoons or what have you, this is not a kill this is not a kill trap. This is a cage where they go in and bro, he goes, What I do? I dip marshmallows in tuna juice. You know, you know, like the tuna, you open up a can of tuna, the juice in there. The oil and whatever. Yeah, he takes a marshmallow yeah. and dips it in the tuna juice. Oh wow! And he goes, bro, bro, bro it's it's a great bait. I go, bro, I don't want raccoons coming from downtown to my yard. I mean, it, this <laughs> this sounds like it's this type of bait sounds like once this once the word gets out around the raccoon right, community right. going. You gotta go up to this house. They're giving out marshmallows with tuna <laughs> juice. Right. This, listen, this almost sounds like something I could see on a Food Network show, like Bobby Flay leaning over, going, "So when did you start marinating the marshmallows in the tuna juice? <laughs> like, like it's gonna be an, an Asian delicacy, guy, yeah? like a dessert <laughs> in Asia. You know what I'm saying? This is like brilliant. Yeah, but you know, if there was a way you could like. Just have one raccoon on the property trained to crap 
uh, on the outskirts in the bushes. And he's almost like a wild pet to the family. And he's only there to keep all the kill from the rats down. You know what I'm saying? That would be that would be the perfect setup. That would be, which brings me to my third point. I got an I got an owl problem. So you, I have an you owl. Can't, I mean, you can't have an that's a you can't have an owl problem. That's like saying living on the water and going like I got a fucking dolphin problem. <laughs> Goddamn dolphins <laughs> everywhere. I mean, owls are like beautiful, bro. Like you 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 hope to see an owl. You got an owl well, problem. <laughs> At four o'clock in the morning, when you hear, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for that. People people get that shit that they pay to have it come into the speakers fake in the house. You're yeah. living. That's beautiful. Beautiful, bro. I, I need complete uh, silence when I sleep, okay? I can't I, have an I owl. usually do. See, I think I do, too. I like dead silence. I usually wear earplugs. I'm like you. I can't hear anything. But an owl is an exception. A little light thunder is an exception. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little, you know, certain things are an exception, bro. What is going bro, on is, with you? This thing's uh, keeping us up. Really? Okay. Lana, Lana too? That Lana too. And this one sleeps like a like a, a bear. So she, we wake up. It's right on our chimney, right near yeah. our bedroom. So you hear it land. Oh. It, it lands like hard on the, on the, on the chimney, oh. right? Gee. And you could oh. hear it with his with his claws walking around on the chimney top. Right. I found out these things eat rodents. So I don't know if the owl community has heard I put a garden in and I got I got furniture covers right. and it's attracting right. rats because they eat rats. Now I found out owls don't even have teeth. Did you notice? I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't think. I didn't think either way about teeth in an owl. To be honest, which I never really gave it much thought. But no. <laughs> what, what, yeah, I mean, they got the beak, right? They rip it. Yeah, they they pulverize the food with the beak, and oh, then they eat okay. it that way. Or they'll swallow. They'll swallow it whole. It's like a snake. Wow. Oh, they'll take. Wow. A, they, they'll take a rat whole, and and eat it. So. Oh, by me putting in this garden, it's attracting an ecosystem <laughs> of animals to my home. Now, do you do you think the owl is landing on your chimney at four o'clock to find dinner, or do you think it's got its dinner and it's on your chimney? You know, fucking down in a rat. Oh God. I think this thing's yeah, perched up on, 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 on the chimney, and it's looking, it's like a sniper. It's looking for, for rodents, scanning for rodents, uh -huh. and once it finds it, it goes in, gets it, and then maybe he eats it right. somewhere else because he doesn't return. Unbelievable. Um, well, you know, you say that, but when you say you hear him walking around like that landing, maybe maybe what you're hearing is him, his beak tenderizing <laughs> this fucking kill on the edge of your chimney, bro. <laughs> And by the way, when the owl is eyeballing a kill, do you think the owl ever sees something it wants to eat and then it sees the raccoon ha already has a beat on that one and it goes, <laughs> ah, the fucking raccoon's got that one. And it like, you know, and it makes a, a change because what you got going on here, by the way, since all this kicked in, have you found out if any of your neighbors up about up by you have, have gardens too? And if not, is this why not? Like, like is this seems like... It seems like well, it was too easy to like. All of a sudden, you got this beautiful garden. Why doesn't everybody? <laughs> now you now you're finding out. Fucking cheetahs are coming up the fucking road. <laughs> I, right. I don't even think my neighbors buy groceries, bro. I, I I don't know. I don't know these neighbors. I I don't I don't know. I don't know what they got. The guy next door to me. I don't know where he is. I don't know what's going on next door. He don't have nothing in his yard. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking right. nobody has a garden in my section of the neighborhood. Yeah. And the rodent said, finally, someone someone put right. in some vegetables for us. That, but the, again, they're not even eating. It's like, it's. I don't know if it's the smell. 
that they're smelling and they're coming for the garden, but then they're going to the furniture because they're like, gee, this guy's got fabric we could use for our home. Right. Forget right, the tomatoes. Right. So, well, is everything ready to eat yet? Are you eating it yet, or is it still not ready? Yeah, no, I'm gonna go out there every day. Every, like yesterday, I made some chicken and, it, it, and I, I pulled some uh, some thyme out of the out of the garden just to, to oh, nice. put in the chicken yeah. and whatnot. So, I mean, there's we got little strawberries uh, the kids are eating. We got cucumbers. It, it's, it, it, we're, we're a full. Yeah. It's it's farm to table over here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, you know, I gotta so, say because you you bring it up the raccoon. Go ahead, if you can say something. I want to no, add to that. I, like, I need your I need your take on it. I need your take on this. We had the skunk that I told you about on a previous cast. Now, uh, I couldn't find anyone who does this like for a living per se. But one of my closest friends in town, one of my closest friends, period. But he lives in town. Um, he's like, I got a buddy who traps skunks. You know, helps people out and you know just traps skunks. So I was like, all right. No, I really appreciate it. So the guy comes to my house, real nice guy. I've met him before, and he's got the, the trap with a plastic over it. So he, because he was explaining to me, a skunk will only shoot out the spray if it can see you. If it can't see you, but it can hear you, it won't shoot because it doesn't know where to. So in this way, it goes in, and the bag's there, so I can take it away. And I go, do you put him in the water? And he go because I had heard someone did that, but it turns out it was my father-in-law knew a guy. And he goes, oh, no, no, I set him free in the woods. And I go, bro, I just want you to know, if you, if you dunk him in the water and drown him, I'm cool with that. You don't have to think that, you, you know, I'm testing you. And he goes, no, I really don't. I let him go in the woods. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right, cool. Fine. Yeah. So, so, and he goes, <laughs> and he goes, here's the deal. Uh, I go to work at about 7, so I'm going to be by by 6.30 to check on this thing. If my trap is gone, I got it. Uh, if not, I may move the trap to a different spot. And then he pulls out a blueberry muffin from the supermarket, and he just breaks it up a little bit, puts it in front of the trap. So by the second day, he's gone. And uh, I text, and I go, did you get it? And he's like, yep, got it, all gone. I'm like, thank you so much. You know, what do I owe you? And he's like, absolutely nothing. Don't worry about it, Petey. So... I call my friend and I go, um, I got to do something, right, for for the guy who hooked me up. And he goes, no, don't worry about it, man. We do a lot of favors for each other. It's how it works in the community, you know, really, don't worry about it. And then I'm like, no, but, you know, what? I get you know, money, a gift, something. And he goes, Pete, I'm telling you, the favor he did for you was a favor for me because I do favors for him. And that's just how it works and how it goes. Now, I find that to be very Italian and I dig it, but my question to you is, do I let it go? Because the other day I was going to eat with my friend and I was ready to bring over a nice bottle of wine to give to the guy who did this favor for me. And Jackie's saying, I, Pete, honestly, based on what he said, you're giving him work now because now he's got to take the wine and drive to the guy's house and drop it off. It's taken care of. They do things for each other. And I'm like, ah, that, do you, so when someone says that to you, like, let it go. I, it was a favor for me, for you, through me. Boom. Do you let it go? Uh, you know, prepared no. to do a favor down the line, of course. No. Yeah, you know, the the move on that is, what's the guy's address? And you don't, just send them, you send them something. You go, Pete, don't worry about it. I, I'm not, you don't even, I don't even know it. I just don't, you, what, what do you, don't worry about it, Pete. Seriously, don't worry about it. I insist. No. Because there's going to be a time when you're going to need the guy again, right? It's not the it's not the only skunk coming to your house. Well, hopefully by then he's my friend has done more favors for him. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, can you call on another one? I know. Well, yeah, I'll maybe there'll be a favor for me. I could do for them. You know, it's like I don't know. So, bro. I, I just I, I, uh, I feel like if somebody's doing you a favor. That's a favor to you, not to him. I mean, like, you're getting the benefit of somebody else's favor. That's I how I feel, feel, too. But I would feel like I, I never want to be the one owing someone a favor. So, like... You don't. You have nothing... They're trying to politely let me know, and if it was you in that situation... You and your skunk are 
completely insignificant in this overall big picture. This is about me and my friend that happens to on the side catch skunks for, for us. It's between me and him. You're just some dude with a skunk. Boom. That's what they're telling okay. me. Okay. <laughs> Here's a scenario. This skunk guy wants to come to your show with his wife. Already got that lined up. Oh, yeah. Front row. Got that lined up. Already told Jackie that one. Doing one little benefit okay. in town. Okay. So, skunk guy calls you. Hey, Pete, uh, I was I was over at your house with the, the skunk. Uh, I was wondering if I could get two free tickets to your show. Are you upset that this guy's calling you asking for comps because he did you a favor? No, I'm like you, the opposite. It's like this gray cloud finally lifted. I finally got a chance to repay the guy who got the skunk for me, even though it was apparently repaid through this mafia way of doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I'd but rather it's like send, if it was, this, send this guy something and be done with it. If this was the, If this was the mob... And I said to you, it's taken care of, right? And then you went and found the guy who did the favor that got the skunk, and you did something for him. I would come to you and go, D didn't I tell you it was taken care of? So when you go and you do that for me, it makes it seem like you and I aren't communicating and we're not on the same page. We're going to need, we're going to drive to the Throg's Neck Bridge. You're going to sit in the front seat, all right? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the name of that yeah. bridge sounds like it's going to fall apart. Is is the is oh, that yeah. is that bridge on its last leg? Just by the name alone. Yeah, well, it's a bridge in New York City, so they all are. Let's be honest. <laughs> by the way, speaking of the mafia, bro, specifically you getting assassinated in that scene in the in the Irishman it was like literally the last entertaining mob scene I have seen in a movie. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I saw one recently that was had a lot of potential, but it kind of it moved too fast. A mob movie? It moved too. A mob movie. Who was it? Somebody was undercover. It was based on a true story about a guy who went undercover, but uh, man, they let him in. It wasn't like Donnie Brasco. Jack even pointed out in the movie. I forget it was on Netflix. She goes, Scott, it seems like they just let him in, like, right away. And she goes, I'm like, right? And we were both like Donnie Brasco. It took him years to get to get in. Years. This guy just slid right in. Anyway. So, switching gears here a little bit. Yeah. And we talked about some of the problems that I was having last week in regards to uh, rodents and animals in the yard. I found a scorpion in Lana's bathroom, right? Uh, I don't know if you've ever come across a scorpion before, right? Like the kind, the kind that are deadly? I don't know. That's my question to you. We found it this morning. Had no time to research this. If you get bit by a scorpion, maybe you want to type this in. If you get bit by a scorpion... Is this what you you come down with like a a fever or do we got to go to the hospital? And I know there's different types of scorpions, but I'm just saying the average everyday scorpion. Do you right, think it could right. drop you? Do you think it could drop you? If it, yeah, if I don't. It, if I don't. It, I don't even think it's hospital. I I think it's last rites. I think it goes right to last rites. Really? I think it's like getting worse. <laughs> Worse than getting bit by a rattlesnake. I think you're done for. I don't even think there is a non-venomous scorpion, right? I mean, that shit's deadly. It's like you literally had like it, it, a deadly. It was this big, this big. It wasn't like a I, scorpion no, you... where, you know, the 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 tail came down. It's like an anvil. This thing was like ting. Yeah, you know, it, it, it most deadliest scorpion lives in California. That's what I'm saying. That's. Bro, that's probably what you got. What did you do with this thing? Gone. You got it in a uh, cup? What do you mean gone, uh, well, dude? Uh, How do you notice it? What? 
You had the whole family's gonna gonna come out now looking for dad. You think you just had one rogue scorpion that fucking got out of Santa Monica area or something? My next question. If you see one scorpion, it's like an ant, right? You see one ant, there's got to be other ants around. If you right. see a scorpion, is this, you know, are, are they like, do they travel in packs and this thing just escaped? Or what? What's yeah. uh, Of course there is. Even if it traveled, how far do you think it traveled from? Down the hill? I mean, you know, and bro, do you know when you get bit by a snake, you're supposed to uh, try to catch it or at the very least get a photo of the snake so when you go to the hospital they know what they're dealing with did you guys take a photo of this scorpion yeah yeah we have a photo okay can, can we uh, can I, we I, uh hold on mat match it to the california forest what do you do if you get bit by a black forest a california you forest just, you, that's what i like to call the priest over and you say goodbye where was it? It's Where'd over. you find it? Lana's yeah. bathroom. <sighs> you mean uh, your your bathroom collectively? Yeah, in our bedroom. Yeah, you made so, it. You gotta say yeah. You said Lana's like it's the Howls, Gilligan's Island. <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't in my bathroom. It was in her bathroom. What, but what do you mean? Very well what do you mean? You have one bathroom, right? You have no, your own too. bathroom. What are you talking about? Yeah, I have a, ba I have a bathroom. She has a bathroom. In her bathroom. In her... What the fuck's over Her bathroom. I thought I saw one bathroom school. at your house. What are you talking No, no. Her sink bathroom. on her side? No, no. Her bathroom. Huh. My question to you is, it's so close to the bed, right? Would you rather get bit by a scorpion in your sleep and wake up, what the fuck is wrong, or... Would you rather see the scorpion on your <laughs> Would you rather see the scorpion on your on your arm and then get bit and go, oh God. What you think about getting bit by a right, scorpion right. and you know you're getting bit? Or do, would you secretly want to get bit by a scorpion, wake up, have a welt on your leg, and go, what the fuck is that? I know, I know. Well, I mean, it depends. I mean, if I'm if I'm gonna die either way, then I'd rather wake up and see the wealth. <laughs> but my thing is, does Lana have the wherewithal or you? If you wake up and you see the 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 Scott, you know, you see it like on your on your chest, like right here, and yeah. you know a sudden move, it's gonna dig in. Do you have the wherewithal to keep cool, to keep cool, and like you know, kind of just. Bro, now you'd go oh, anything okay. anything on me i react you know it's not like uh when ray liotta in goodfellas woke up and there was a gun in his face from his wife remember he opens his eyes and he's yeah. like karen, karen. <laughs> i don't have that ability <laughs> now let me ask you this you wake up, scorpions on your chest. You freak out, brush it off. It's scared. It lands on Lana and instantly stings her. And now she's, you know, how do you, how do you feel? How are you, you know, well, how do you feel about Bro, that? I could, I could be arrested. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone concerned where this thing came from? I mean, are we doing well, any further research? After the cast, now I got, you know what, for the hell of it, look up uh, what you do if you got scorpions in the house. Is there a trap? Do I, do, do I, bro, I got traps. I'm going to have traps all over the house. Yeah. Yeah, I um, know. It's insane. I bet the owls eat scorpions, too. What's that? I bet owls eat scorpions, too. That would be great. I just need something here that's a predator that will eat everything that's a problem. I got a bee's nest outside, bro. I don't, what you take on a bee's nest? Do you get rid of that? Because apparently the bees are supposed to be really good for the garden, right? Well, it's, in, it's interesting you say that because I had about a week ago, I took care of it right after I got back from vacation. I had a hive. It's called a bee den, basically, but there was a hole in my lawn. 
And the bees had made like a den down there. And when I mow my lawn, I got stung three times. Like, the fuck's going on? And then I see it. So I'm talking to my father-in-law. And he's like, he tells me, I, I go out and I get this hornet spray. And he goes, you got to wait till it's nighttime because they're not as active. And I waited till it was dark. I took, and, 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 and he told me, you're going to hit it with the spray, the hole. And then you're going to put dirt over it and pa- pack it down. So now I go out there at night. I have a bucket of dirt. Jackie's with me. I got the flashlight. I got two cans of this Hornet B stuff. Now you walk over. We walk over to the hole, and it's like real quiet. I felt terrible about this. Jackie felt really bad about this. You shine the flashlight down there. It looked like a zombie movie where all the zombies <laughs> are sleeping, and and you're all like Dracula, and you're dumping gas on them, getting ready. Because you just see, all, I mean, hundreds of bees down there, barely buzzing. And I just take that spray, and it's like a long shoots from far away. And I, I mean, I fire it up. I'm like killing them. Wow! Dump the dirt on, pack that shit down, spray the dirt just in case some of them try to dig <laughs> through that shit. They'll poison themselves on the way out, right? And then the next morning, you see a, a couple of bees hovering over it, like like they were gone for the night and they came back and they're like, where's my family? I'm looking at them like, I'm literally heckling them from the fucking porch. I'm like, your family's gone. Take a walk, guys, or you're next. <laughs> just hovering over. And just to know, I almost want to dig it up now just because there's probably uh, hundreds just- of dead bees down there. You said you felt bad, but yet you're heckling from the yeah. house. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we did it for a reason. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> oh, but when they're man. in a hive hanging from a tree, it seems meaner to, to kill them, you know? You yeah, no, them. I mean, what, what, once they go in the ground, that's a, that's a whole different bee, man. That's a yeah. whole different bee you're dealing with. You need a guy to come in and spray a barrier of death all around the edge of the house. Something that anything comes over that thing, they're going to die instantly from poison, you know? Like, it keeps them away. I sprayed ant stuff down in my in, around my garage all summer long, not a single ant. I don't know what was in this shit, but man, it worked. Well, this brings me to my next point. Speaking of ants and, and what have you, apparently it's spider season here too. I got spider webs that look like they were made by Spider-Man. I mean, bro, I th- there's a web okay. that was that was about 13 feet high that if it was any lower and I walked through it I don't think I could have got out of the web. All right, that's Jesus. that's that's how yeah. this 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 web looked like it was thick. So I'm walking on the side of my house and right in front of me is a spider like hanging, right? And it's big. And I got kids coming over to the house for uh, the 17 kids I had here one week for like a camp. I hosted a camp. That's a whole other episode. I don't have spider killer. And this thing looked deadly. It was red. Right. Never seen yeah. a red spider yeah. before. Yeah. So I took ant spray and I hit the spider with it. My question to you is... There's ant spray, bee spray, uh, right. all these different kinds of sprays. Yeah, yeah. Does the spider spray work on the ants? Does the ant spray work on the spider? What the hell is in this shit that's specific to killing certain right. insects? Right. That's a great point. Did, 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 did you kill the spider? Because I'm thinking it's the same stuff. They're trying to just resell the can. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. You could have nine different sprays for nine different insects. So I took the ant spray and I hit the spider with it. Now it was hanging there, right? And it and it and it looked like it was in a, a struggle. Yeah. But I'm looking at it and I go, wait a minute. Is this thing like like uh it looked like it was just trying to shimmy shimmy out of the uh the spray right like it looked like it was just trying to shake the spray off its body and then <laughs> and then at the end of it it just goes still and i go wait a minute is this thing dead hanging from its own web or did he just shake off the ant spray going guy this is ant spray yeah <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so what do you got to do? Like a finger touch to see if it moves? I spray it again. I hit it again just to see. And again, <laughs> it moved alive, again. It's alive. But it's, still, but it's still there. So it didn't do nothing to the spider. So Jesus, I don't know. If there's how, does, how do you shake off that chemical as a bug, right? <laughs> Sometimes, like I've hit an ant with the ant spray, and it still goes about four yards. I'm like, look at you hanging in there, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! I could have stepped on the thing a half hour ago, you know. But instead, I'm like flooding half a can on this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with you, right? You could have just like smacked that thing with your hands. Oh, bro! I got, I got the photo. Uh, I got the photo. Oh, of the uh, man. Hold on. Oh man. Can you go to Google, put in a photo of a of an insect, and it will yes. scan it and go, oh, yeah, now that's a uh, that's an Appalachian scorpion. Like, uh, is, it, is there, that there's an app that does There's an app that does that. I don't know about, about. There it is. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm looking well, at that. You, you, need, you need to look at that and pretend that right there what we're looking at is a rattlesnake and take it with the same sense of urgency. All right, pretend that was a rattlesnake in, in Lana's bathroom because it may as well be. Oh, my God, that's a death machine. Look <laughs> at those horns. Look at those horns. Bro, if, I was, if, if that thing bit Lana and I was a detective out of L.A., I would have to interview you. I would, that literally looks like it was planted. Any problems with the, with the, with the marriage? That's what he'd say. He said the little pad. Oh, everything good? No, it's because you travel a lot, right? She's okay with all that travel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, oh, God. bro, that's not that's serious. No, no serious, I man. We, I, well, well, I got to talk to the road. What do you live in Africa? <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk to the rodent guy again. This guy, this guy is going to be making a fortune off me. Um, yeah, you just need to hire someone to live on the on the on the property and just you know kill anything that moves that doesn't have Maniscalco in the last name. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, bro. It's a, it's a wrap. We gotta uh, we gotta do that call. Plus, I gotta do some promo stuff here. And we're doing more in person. I'll be back out. So yeah, Pete's coming back out. Just so you guys know, Pete's coming back out September. All right, we're gonna have some more guests. We're going on a podcast together. We won't mention the podcast name as of yet because we're still, I think, working it out. But I think it's pretty much solidified. But, again, uh, we're listening to the viewers. The viewers like the guests. They also like this, too. We're trying to give you the best of both worlds here. I know some people yeah. say, oh, we like it when Pete and Sebastian just kind of go back and forth, which is what we love doing, too. But we add the new wrinkle of the guests just to mix it up a little bit. We did the summer hang. I think people really enjoyed that. So we're trying to give you a, a, a variety, a plethora of different angles here on the Pete and Sebastian show as we grow. Um, so uh, we'll see you guys next week. A lot more to get into. A uh, cu couple teasers here. I went to the Beyonce show. Got to get into that. Also oh, got into... Nice entertaining uh, uh, uh I'm, I'm i'm having a problem that lana and i are not getting invited to other people's homes okay we, we constantly are entertaining over here and we're, we're i'm bitching right. that no one invites me oh. someone did invite me yeah 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 and now i know why i have my own parties okay <laughs> 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 I had a pro. I had a big problem at this party, but I'll save it for All the right. next cast. Got to thank right, everybody man. for listening to the Pete and Sebastian show again. Share it with five friends. We are. Um, <laughs> it's a whole other side of the. the, the uh, <laughs> that's another episode. We got about nine episodes in the chamber based on mm -hmm. what has happened to us in the last six weeks. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we might have to do this a couple more times before you come out here. Okay. Yeah, sounds good to me, man. All right. Pete and Sebastian Show. We'll see you next week.